Hey friends, it's Robert. We are headed to Ukraine for Christmas. Join me today on World Crafted as we recount a beloved Ukrainian folktale that will inspire our sparkling DIY spider and web ornaments to adorn your holiday tree. Every country has holiday-related legends and folklore, but the Eastern European country of Ukraine has a popular story that I love. It's said that there was a poor but hardworking widow who lived with her children in a modest hut. Now, on a warm summer day, a pine cone fell from a neighboring tree, tumbled in through their open window, and it landed on their earthen floor where it took root and began to grow. Thrilled by the prospect of having a Christmas tree by winter, the widow's children tended to the conifer tree. And under their care, the months passed and it grew in height and stretched its branches. However, on Christmas Eve, with no money for presents or decorations, the family went to bed, leaving the tree unadorned. When the moon lit bright, spiders descended on the bare branches and enveloped the tree in their delicate webs. The family awoke the next morning astonished by the spectacle of the tree, and when the children opened up the windows to let in light for a better look, the sun's first rays transformed the webs into silver and gold. The widow and her children were overjoyed, and they never lived in poverty again. How lovely is that? Christmas trees in the Ukraine often include spider and web ornaments among the decorations, and to this day, it's said that if you find an actual spider on your Christmas tree, you'll be blessed with good fortune. Inspired by this folktale, I can think of no better DIY than for us to craft our own festive spiderweb and spider ornaments. Let's start by making a quick template for our spiderweb, and this is easiest to do with a piece of graph paper. First, measure and draw a box that is six by six inches. Next, draw two diagonal lines that connect the opposing corners. And finally, draw one vertical and one horizontal line that meet in the center of your square you'll see that we've now created four lines that intersect in the center of the square. Now along each spoke that radiates out from the center point, we're going to measure and mark in red the one inch mark, the two inch mark, and the two and a half inch mark. Next, position your template under a piece of waxed paper and pin them both to a cork board. Now we're going to take sewing pins and place one in each of the red marks on the template. These indicate all of the intersecting points of our spider web. To create the spider web, you'll need a fine, thin yarn. Create a tail that is six inches long and tie the yarn to one of the outer pins. This tail will help you create the hanging loop for the ornament. We're going to wrap the yarn around the pins almost as if we were creating a string art project. I found it easiest to string the web with one hand and use the other to press the yarn down to the surface of the cork board, helping to keep the yarn taut and the line straight. To begin, work your way across the first line, wrapping the yarn once around each pin you pass. When you get to the end of the first line, work your way back to the center pin, pivot direction, and wrap it up and down the second line. Continue on to wrap the third and the fourth lines. Before you wrap the yarn back up to our starting point, pause at the center pin, wrap it up to that first pin at the one inch mark, Pivot and wrap the yarn around to create the inner circle of the web, connecting all of the spokes. Then work your way up to the pin at the two inch mark, and again, pivot and wrap the yarn around to create the outer circle of the web. Finally, wrap the yarn up to our starting point, tie it around the pin, and leave a six inch tail. To bind all of our wrapped yarn together and to keep our spider web configuration, you're going to apply a fabric stiffener. This is a common product made by several companies and can be found at most any craft, hobby, or fabric store. However, before we apply the fabric stiffener, take a toothpick and push the wrapped yarn up from the surface of the cork board about a quarter of an inch. This is going to prevent us from adhering the web to our work surface. Now, dispense a small amount of the fabric stiffener and carefully apply it to every part of the yarn web using a fine-tipped paintbrush. When you've finished, apply one additional quick coat over the top, and while the stiffener is still wet, sprinkle it with fine silver or gold glitter. Set your web aside and allow it to dry for at least three hours, or preferably overnight. While we wait for the web to dry, let's make the spider ornaments. These guys come together really quickly and they're easy to assemble. You'll need two different size ball ornaments to create the body and the head of the spider. I'm using a one inch for the body and a tiny half inch for the head. 
Remove the cap and the hanging loop from the larger ball ornament. Apply hot glue around the opening and position the bottom of the smaller ball ornament on the glued edge. The hanging loop for the smaller ball ornament should remain visible positioned at the top of the spider's head. Next, we'll create the spider's legs. Cut four eight inch segments of the pipe cleaners. I'm using a silver tinsel pipe cleaner to coordinate with the ornaments I used for the head and the body. Align the ends of the four pipe cleaner pieces, twist them together several times in the center. Apply a small amount of hot glue to the spider's neck and press the twisted center of the pipe cleaner legs into the glue and hold for a second, allowing it to set. Then wrap the pipe cleaner around the neck, twist the two sides together and fan out the individual legs. Bend each leg in the center to create the joint and then trim the ends if necessary to make certain the legs are all roughly the same length. Finally, string a hanging loop and the spider is ready to display. Now let's finish our spider web. Gently remove each of the pins, supporting the web with one hand and pulling the pins with the other. Tie the two tail ends together to complete the hanging loop. If you'd like, flip it over and brush additional fabric stiffener on the other side of the web and apply more glitter, and then simply hang to dry. I do hope you'll give this project a try and that some of these sparkling spider webs find their way into your home this holiday. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't done so already, I want to encourage you to subscribe to Kin Community and join me next time for another world-inspired DIY.